Hey, comic book fans, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. And fans, you're with me, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to bring you that all important comic book review so you, the fans, can make a decision on what comic books to buy. And fans, today we're talking about Superman Wonder Woman, issue number 13. That's right, this is the first issue uh, that has come out since that home, whole Doom thing that uh, Superman went through. And we also have a new creative team on this title as well so is it for the better is it for the worst we'll find out in time uh, this book is written by Peter J Tomasi and the pencils are done by uh, dog Doug Manneke Meineke not sure exactly how to say it so going through the artwork at times I feel like this artwork really shines I think that the physical attributes through the characters really shine through here especially uh, some anger facial expressions but I feel at times also when it comes time to just doing a regular smile, um, I, I think that the characters kind of lack there. Um, here we get to see an awkward facial expression by, uh, by Diana. And you also get to see kind of a, a pretty boy look by uh, Clark here, which I kind of didn't agree with. And here's another little awkward smile. So, even though I really like the art at times, especially in those, you know, battle scenes, again, the facial expressions, especially the smiles, uh, just didn't do it for me here. It kind of was, it lacked. Uh, but nevertheless, when it came to, again, those battle scenes with the villains and whatnot, it seemed pretty cool. So, what did I think about this particular story? Um... I think we get to see Peter J. Tomasi trying to get a handle on these two characters in this issue uh, being together. Uh, and that's really what this issue focused on. was the, It's called the Battlefield of Love. And we get to see an introduction to this uh, five years ago. That's where this book starts off as uh, Superman and Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman uh, doing battle against the parademons in the beginning of the issue which was which was pretty cool uh and we get to see cool dialogue on how diana meets with the with um with people on earth and how how people are so fragile and yet they're they're your greatest you know attribute which i thought was really neat and uh these two just had great character moments in the beginning of this issue and then it goes on to uh, actual present day and it was kind of cool because you get to see uh, Clark typing on a typewriter uh, just brings you back to the day of the Daily Planet he even is holding a mug here uh, which I thought was really awesome too and uh, you get these two see these two interact and as they're dating now and uh, and it was cool to see that and um, they get to go out on a date night but this date night is kind of interrupted uh, throughout the issue by these B-rated villains, uh, one called the Atomic Skull, uh, going after these nuclear reactors, and then this other guy called Major Disaster, and he causes all kinds of weather problems, and they're causing this big hurricane-like storm, and this, this skull guy is going after, you know, this, this nuclear reactor, and what I thought was kind of cool is like, as I was reading this issue, though, uh, I kind of felt like I was in this weather pattern, you know, with with Clark and with Lois, and I thought that was that was pretty cool there, you know. And all of a sudden, they realized that there was danger, and uh, all of a sudden, they come across these two villains. And I felt like for such superpowers that these two have, they had such a hard handle on battling major disaster in in Atomic Skull. Um, you know, it's they're going against weather and some nuclear guy. I, I felt like they could have handled these guys in one, two, three. And when these guys go to escape, they come across uh, this guy by the name of Wonderstar. And I'm not sure who he is either uh, because I'm not fully immersed in the DC universe. My true history is Marvel. And yet, yes, he has a funny looking smile too. Uh, so <laughs> there's the story in a nutshell there. Um, I thought this was really pretty much a point A to point B generic type of issue with generic characters in here. But nevertheless, it was cool to see, um, you know, Lois, Lois, Wonder Woman and 
Clark working together here to stop the bad guys. Uh, again, generic type of issue, generic bad guys, point A, point B, uh, good, decent character moments, facial expressions lacked here, uh, but action sequences were pretty cool. So with that being said, I'm going to give this one a three and a half out of five stars. Will I continue to read Superman and Wonder Woman? I don't know. We'll see. I'll give it another issue and see where this actual story goes. I really enjoyed Tony S. Daniels' run on the book. I thought his artwork was phenomenal, and it's hard to top that. And I thought the writing in that book was really well done, too. Um, so, But now that he's on Deathstroke and we got this new team on here, uh, we're going to see how long it takes to, to make an impact on, on me. Um, usually, you know, sometimes great writers and good series it takes one issue two max you know but after two issues if it's not going to do that for me then i'm going to wind up dropping it but i will give this issue in three and a half out of five stars uh i love most of the art in here and i love some of the storytelling when it came to these two together so guys there is my review on superman wonder woman issue number 13 guys leave me in the comments below what you thought of this issue uh are you on board did you like the last creative team better and uh guys until the next comic book review this is mike spider slayer signing off thanks for watching fans take care